G'day guys, I'm going to set up on the Campaspe River again today. Brought the bait rods and some Janjuk worms and I've already seen more big carp swimming around than I can poke a stick at. <clears throat> See, I just can't do it. Just baiting up the rods and I can see two carp swimming together just over there. One cruised past here just a sec ago, there's two over there. I've seen heaps swimming up there. They come from around the bend, Abs look there's more, there's one coming. They come from up there, they're all heading up in this direction. For some reason the ones up there are heading in this direction, so hopefully, hopefully they're hungry. <laughs> Last time I saw action like this with carp, none of them were hungry, <laughs> but let's see. There's another one. All the carp I'm seeing are right up the top of the water column. And I'm fishing with running sinker rigs at the bottom of the water column. Of course, it makes sense that the fish I'm seeing are at the top because I can't see the bottom. So I'll just put baits down the bottom for now. And uh, I do have some bubble floats with me. If I don't get any bites in the first 15 minutes or so, I might put one of them on one of the rods. I've never bait fished here before, so I don't know where the snags are. Jesus, deep. <laughs> Deeper than I thought. All right. And the second one, just out there. That's much shallower than it is over there, but that's good. I've got my baits in two different types of spots. Let's hopefully get some bites. Otherwise, I do have a float, as I said. You know, I got excited seeing all these big carp swimming around, and I never thought with that kind of drop to the water, how I'm gonna land them if I hook one. I guess I can figure something out over there. I do have my landing net today, so that'll help. Look at that. One, two, three, together. There's more ripples over there from a fourth. There's one swimming next to this log. Oh, there's one up there as well. They are everywhere. No bites yet. <laughs> Okay, it's just unwinding my shrimp net for an alternative bait, but I got my first bite. Very good. There's two just over there. Oh, here we go. Something's playing with it hardcore here. Why do I have a feeling he's already stolen my bait? I don't know, he just took me into a heap of crap that's hidden the worm. All right, well. Good signs, good start. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, good bites, good bites. Okay, he's on there. I was just gonna get the bells off, but uh, oh no, snagged. He's still on there though. I wonder if I give him a bit of slack. Take, come on, take some line. He's, yes, he's definitely still on there. Yes, he's off. Oh, he's only little. <laughs> oh, there you go. Silver perch are everywhere in this system at the moment. <laughs> oh, gorgeous little fish. Bendy banana silver perch from the Compassibe River. Going back into the Compassibe River. See you, buddy. That was not the most graceful landing. He, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> wow, fish on the board already. And while I was unhooking him, I had a bite on that. Um, and I struck and they stole all my bait, but apparently I wasn't recording, so you missed that. But I'm in for another great session. <laughs> Put these both back out roughly where they were because they're both getting bites. They should both catch me fish. I might have to forego the bells today. They're just going to be an annoyance getting enough bites that I'll be able to pay good enough attention. Oh, other rod. <laughs> Missed that one. That one's snagged. This one's playing funny buggers. Got him. Have I? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Whoa, he's a bit bigger. 
can still do the lift though, that's good, because I don't know how I'll go with the net today. Up, up you come, mate. Oh, wow, that's a ripping silver perch. Look at this guy. I'm going to check I'm recording very quickly. Wow, that's the biggest silver I've caught in a while. I reckon he's 30. Um, I don't have time. Ah, okay, didn't drop him on the ground. That's a bonus. I think he might have... Can you stop? I think he might have swallowed the hook. Give me a look, mate. Okay. Give me a peek. Yeah, the hook's way down in there, so... Ah, give him a little kiss and bite through the line as close as I can. Keep the sinker there. I'd love a measurement. I reckon that's a 30 centimetre silver perch. 29.30, but I'm calling 30. And we'll never know, because I just want to get him swimming. See ya, buddy. That was a slightly better landing than the last one. <laughs> oh, bloody awesome. I've got to get that off the snag. I've got to tie a hook onto there. But I'm 10 minutes and two fish in. You beauty. I'm two silver perch in, and I can still see massive carp swimming around. There's one right there. There's one over there. There's one cruising down the river over there. Unbelievable. I don't care if the carp aren't hungry now. The silvers are having a feast. They're on. That's getting a bite already. I wasn't, oh, I can't even cast the second one in the water. <laughs> My luck lately is through the roof. Oh, I missed. Bugger. All right, let's get try and get two baits back in the water. Oh, <laughs> got it. Oh, goodness me. Come on, come back. It's just baiting my other rod again. And uh, this one started going. Oh, I had him too. I felt weight on that one. He got my worms. I've got a feeling this school of silver perch out here is actually traveling up and down stream searching for food because it seems to go quiet for two or three minutes and then both rods go nuts with bites. I either catch a fish or I don't catch a fish and I definitely lose my bait either way um, and then it goes quiet again. So I've got a feeling that school is, oh, here we go, they're back. <laughs> Speak of the devils. I've got a feeling they're on the move. They're not just sitting here in front of me. Oh, I missed him. Bugger. He's so fast. There we go. The other rod. I told you. Both rods at the same time. Always. I wouldn't mind betting there's a yabby out here with my worm because the line's very... Oh, yeah, he just flicked and got off when I pulled on it. <laughs> my line was very tight. I try to leave a little bit of curve in the line to detect bites that are even too weak for the rod. But, um, yeah, the line was extremely tight. A yabby was trying to tow that backwards. The fish bites have quietened right off. I'm getting plenty of shrimp and yabby bites now, which makes me think... The silver perch may have moved on and all the invertebrates have come back out to play, but I'll stick with it. Just as another huge carp swims past, I'm putting a fresh worm on both hooks because the bites have dried up. It's gone very quiet. Even the invertebrates stopped biting, so I'm not sure what's going on, but fresh worms will hopefully fix the issue in theory. First bite I've had in a while. The line's gone dead tight. Whoa, okay. I was gonna say it's probably a yabby again, but I don't think so. <laughs> Not after that bite. I don't know what's messing with me here. Is it a yabby or is it a smallish fish? Got him. Yes. Cheeky buggers still messing with me out there. <laughs> Another little silver. Up you come, bud. When I say little, these things in this river used to be 
minuscule they're getting some size now which is wonderful and I get my hook back with this one which is nice out you come give me a look buddy ah spiky things beautiful he's probably the smallest one of the day 17 centimeters something like that see if I can get one head first see you mate yes beautiful see I build up there I saw him shoot off in that direction <laughs> Whoa, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Whoa, okay, still there. <laughs> Looks like the silver perch school is back. Here we go. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Gee whiz, he pulled the hardest for the day and I reckon he's one of the smaller ones. No, he's a bit bigger than I thought. Probably about the size of the first one that I got low 20s oh geez he's got the hook down where is it where are you hooked mate i can't even see it oh yep 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 i can get that there we go hook out Just keep that bit of worm you can swallow that if you're lucky don't wiggle you spiky bugger whoop okay do wiggle and i'll catch her again <laughs> oh look he's pretty close to the last one probably 18 guess just guessing doesn't matter see ya buddy I'm having a blast. The silvers in the Campaspe River are going ape. Whoa. I only moved slightly. Did he see me or did something else spook him? <laughs> well, the bites have all dried up. The schools either switched off or moved on again. I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go home and have some dinner, but I had some great fun. I think I got four silver perch. I lost one hook to a snag, but hooks are cheap. Doesn't matter. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a like. Uh, what do you do down there? You leave me a comment. That's right. <laughs> See you next time.